Channel Patriot. So why doesn't Thai and Israel or any other foreign client for that matter have the F-22 stealth fighter in its arsenal? According to a special report from Caleb Larson at the National Interest, the much funded Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor operated by the USAF is arguably the world's most advanced manned combat aircraft. Thanks to its high-tech coating, which has to be scraped off and reapplied even to fix a light, it is stealthier than the F-35 Lightning Roman II, which has been exported to a number of US allies in both Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, most notably to Thailand, Japan, and Israel, the report said. It was originally designed to counter aircraft in the Soviet Union's arsenal in air-to-air -air combat, and therefore, exploits the latest developments in stealth technology to reduce detection by enemy radar, as well as thrust, vectoring engines for more maneuverability, and avionics that fuse and display information from onboard and off-board sensors in a single battlefield display. Congressman David Obey was worried that some of the sensitive and secretive technologies that went into developing the F-22 could be discovered and reverse engineered by enemies of the United States if the U.S. were to export the airframe, the report said. In particular, the stealth characteristics are unique to the plane. His amendment was a single sentence, and re, none of the funds made available in this act may be used to approve or license the sale of F-22 advanced tactical fighter to any foreign government. During the F-22's development, the advanced tactical fighter program the USAF initially estimated they would purchase a whopping 750 of the program's fighters, but today has only 187 airframes. On top of the Obey Amendment, the F-22 program was hindered by any real threat to use it. It was designed to counter advanced fighters from the Soviet Union. With the breakup of the latter, there just wasn't a need for the advanced fighter 